So now in this video, we're going to look at parallel resistors. The main property of parallel resistors is that you end up with an equivalent of less resistance. If they're equal value resistors, 1000 ohms, 1000 ohms, it makes it pretty simple. You put two of them in parallel, you will have half the resistance, 500 ohms right there. If you had three in parallel, you'd have about 330 ohms of equivalent resistance. So now using a couple resistors in parallel to get half the uh, value right there is definitely one reason why you may use them in parallel. There's also another reason. Let's say for whatever reason you want to use a resistor to get uh, 24 milliamps from 12 volts. As you can see here a quarter watt resistor will get too hot. It's only rated for a maximum of 0.25 watts you should still keep it under 0.125 watts if possible. And uh, here you can see the math, the current going through it with the voltage across it, a quarter watt resistor will be uh, pretty well above a quarter watt. So now if we take that same voltage and put it across a thousand ohms of resistance right there, we'll get 12 milliamps of current. So I already said we want 24 milliamps of current but uh, we can get 12 milliamps through one resistor and then we can put another one kilo ohm resistor in parallel with it. We'll also get 12 milliamps of current through the other resistor. So we'll end up with twice the current. And each uh, resistor here will have uh, 12 volts across it and 12 milliamps of current going through it. You multiply it, that's a 0.144 watts, which is uh, a little higher than you want but it's uh, much better than going way over the rated value of most resistors, which is a quarter watt right there, 0.25 watts. So now, of course, you can take multimeter measurements on the uh, breadboard here, pretty easy. This is an auto range meter. All I have to do is set it to resistance, and we will go across resistor polarity, doesn't matter. Current goes through the resistor the same either way. So there you can see that's just shy of one kilo ohm, 1000 ohms, and this resistor is also just shy of one kilo ohm, 1000 ohms. If I put them in parallel, put them to the same rows right there, we will see just shy of 500 ohms. And you see that right there. And now I have the power supply set to 12 volts up to 30 milliamps of current. The multimeter is already set to measure milliamps of current. We will measure the current going through one resistor when I complete the uh, circuit. And there you can see it's about 12 milliamps of current. Pretty spot on. The uh, power supply is not as accurate. I'll put the other resistor in parallel. Again, going to the positive supply and then meeting at the uh, same point over there. They're in parallel. Both sides of the resistors are connected to the same two spots. And there you can see we have the 24 milliamps of current on both the uh, power supply basically and the meter which is more accurate. We'll zoom in so you can see it a little bit better and take the reading there. But in uh, any case, that is about it for this video. There's a lot more to uh, parallel resistors. There's formulas and stuff. But uh, this is the basic gist of how parallel resistors work. Make sure you turn the uh, multimeter off when you're done. Definitely get it off of measuring current if there's a power button. And uh, check out one of the other videos that I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. I have a link down in the description. That would help out a ton. I'll see you in the next video.